Hey everyone, it's the Village Mayor discovering places through photography. In this video, let's visit two locations, Old Meadowvale Village and the Meadowvale Conservation Area. Surrounded by subdivisions in Mississauga near Mavis and Derry Road, the Credit River runs through the Meadowvale Conservation Area and is the reason why the village exists in this location. This general area is great for landscape, nature, and architecture photography. The first visit in this tour is the Old Meadowvale Village. Now remember, please be mindful of local residents who live here and their privacy when taking photos of their houses. The first stop is at the main intersection at Old Derry Road and Second Line West. The architecture of this church is typical of small rural churches built in Ontario in the 1800s. Unlike larger historic towns in Mississauga like Streetsville, Old Meadowvale's main street consists of a few commercial buildings. Shown here is a main street building built in 1915 with commercial at grade and residential above. There are numerous historic houses in the village. For example, this house here was actually a former hotel in the 19th century and was built in 1837 and is basically a simple box with numerous large windows. Now you might assume these homes are old but they were actually built in 1990. Rather than building conventional suburban design, these homes were built to be sympathetic to the historic village. In this photo, this property here is larger and includes a small barn in the back. The house here is rather simple without much detail. The former Goodham Estate is a large property to the east of the village and the estate house is now part of the uh, Ruther Glen School, and I don't think it is publicly accessible. This former hotel is appropriately called The Brick because it was one of the first brick buildings in the village and served as the business core. Across the street is a mechanic shop built in 1945. You would think you've stepped into a movie set as the building sports white metal panels with three horizontal lines. One of the residential streets here is Old Mill Lane and is the site of the former Silverthorne Grist Mill. Today, there is a gazebo and Canada Post mailboxes. One of the features of this park here is a millstone, but surprisingly, it's actually not part of the original mill on site, but was actually donated from another mill. Old Dairy Road has a rural cross section and is not urbanized. I thought this photo taken on the street was pretty neat, with a solid yellow line and the eventual vanishing point. The next location I'm going to take you is the Meadowvale Conservation Area, which is also home to the Credit Valley Conservation Authority offices. Cross the green bridge over the Credit River and turn to a long driveway. Drive in and there are visitor and staff parking which is located to the far back of the property. The conservation area includes numerous trails that takes you as far north as Highway 407 along the Credit River and through numerous meadows and woodlots. I highly recommend spending at least half a day here hiking around. One trail, the Cullum Trail, takes you to Cullum Pond, located west of the conservation area. It is a nice little pond, um, but the day that I was there, there was really nothing but stillness in the air. I rather like this photo as there is a near perfect reflection of the trees and the marsh grasses on the water's surface. Spend some time here as the trail continues a little further west, then head back towards the parking lot. While I was at the pond, I spoke to a local resident and mentioned that a few trees along the trail are dead. I decided to take a few photos of the dead trees from different perspectives, which you can see had a bold structure from trunk to the branches. I really like this photo and just like the previous photo earlier, I used the pond to create a reflection of the dead tree. And again, the pond is still enough to create that perfect mirror image. This photo here is one of my favorite also because it shows that despite only having 20 megapixels, the Canon R6 is able to deliver tack sharp images, even if you do some cropping. I love how the individual seed pods are so visible. The conservation area includes a longer trail that heads north towards the 407, as I mentioned, and is also a great place to explore some of the meadows and streams. So that wraps up this video. I really recommend visiting both Meadowville Village and the Meadowville Conservation Area 
uh, visit here for different scenery in different seasons and guarantee that you'll be happy. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.